all right all right all right what is up we are still in Santorini and in this video I will be giving you a tour of Akrotiri and some beaches around the Akrotiri uh, I don't really know what specifically to show you and I cannot promise a complete satisfaction but I will do my best to capture whatever I see interesting with my eyes and uh, capture it with my camera and show it to you so the first interesting thing that I've noticed like this is uh, we have here the moment that you enter Akrutiri there is the stop point that you can park and you can stop and then uh, you have a fantastic view towards uh, Fera, towards the whole island, towards Volcano and you can take beautiful pictures even towards the other uh, uh, part of uh, Santorini island and we have this uh, chair here that you can just sit and you can uh, absolutely enjoy the view and this is one chair it means you should be with yourself you should be alone and you should uh, uh, and you should uh, kind of uh, re spend some time with you and look at this beauty and also think about once upon a time there was this whole land whole civilization then one natural occurrence took it all away and uh, you know it makes you think about life you can enjoy the beauty and the horror at the same time yeah so let's uh, get to the edge and see holy moly this is the type of view that you want to be seeing and if you have the budget and the money i will recommend renting a boat like a smaller boat from the port or from anywhere possible you can check online where you can rent a boat and exploring these beaches uh, with a smaller boat with your mate that makes so much sense to me than like uh, being uh, like in a big boat with lots of people that they take you around that's also not bad depending on your budget but I, I will prefer like renting a personal boat and just exploring these beaches all right so this is the place uh, where we stop don't worry i will leave uh, a link to this uh, very lo location so you can also find this place and come take some awesome pictures and enjoy the view i will recommend coming here a, a little bit early in the morning because it's already getting a little bit warm and you can uh, really get sweaty if you would go down there and take pictures and then come back okay yeah and uh, as you can see everybody is uh, making a stop here to do the same thing as we did <laughs> I will be uh, open about a few things uh, visiting places in Santorini or in general about Santorini first of all if you are visiting places and sites in Santorini which involves like hiking walking in this time of the year which is like uh, midsummer August you uh, you should be doing it a little bit early in the morning because uh, the heat here is merciless and there are pretty much no trees and like kind of it is it is aggressively getting uh, warmer and hotter as the day is uh, going towards noon yeah and secondly uh, i completely understand your comment about santorini it's uh, what what i feel what i noticed is missing from here is the locals like I'm right now in Akrotiri, uh, it's a bit difficult for me to differentiate which is a villa, which is an Airbnb and which one is a hotel and which one is uh, a house of a local which is who is living in it. Yeah, which makes it difficult to build a connection with a place. Uh, 
but overall the whole architecture of this island the blue and the white the round shapes is just beautiful yeah so overall uh, Santorini uh, has uh, to itself its own unique experience it could be experienced in different way when I thought about it uh, if you are good with your planning and time management you really can enjoy this island but if you are off with your time management and with your planning then you can uh, yeah uh, you cannot really get uh, enough out of your travel you may have raised your expectation out of Santorini but that's not gonna be the case if you are not uh, good in managing your time and with this around Santorini yeah but overall it's a beautiful island I love the architecture Well, just it doesn't it didn't took me uh, too long to understand. Travel means nuances and exploring new things and being faced with new challenges. And I guess having something like this is maybe out of your comfort zone. Maybe it is something that you haven't learned to like, but it's kind of a challenge that we are faced with how we can manage to relate to this you know we are accustomed to like knowing there is like a society there is a village there is there are taverns and everything then we should go there or locals and we got we will socialize and this but what about if it's like this how you are going to ex squeeze some uh, love and some knowledge and some peace and experience happiness out of it yeah that's that's also not a bad way to think about it you should be not always expecting to travel to different places in the world and have the same experiences that's why we travel to i just realized like wh what am i saying and what am i doing uh yeah i absolutely love how new and strange and uh and and unexpected places could be and I love those about them that makes it uh, that kind of turns it to a little adventure to deal with it so if you are somebody who, who likes traditional places uh, then that's a good thing but if you are someone uh, like me I really <laughs> no I, I just messed it up here uh, it's always uh, beautiful to be faced with new challenges and uh, get out of our comfort zone and experience something that we are not used to like this one no locals uh, nothing uh, oh there is a school the school even looks like a hotel it's uh, written there Dimotico uh, Akrutiri yeah Scolio yeah, I guess I'm getting a little bit philosophical that I also don't understand what I'm saying, but I hope you got the point.
Mais on peut pas voir l'intérieur parce que c'est un café.
Ah, Krutiri is really a little nice, uh, let's call it a village. It's, it cannot be considered a town. It doesn't have everything that a town should have. Uh, it's really cute, it's really beautiful and uh, it is full of wonders if you walk around uh, in the afternoon or in the early morning I'm pretty sure you will get to see lots of beautiful things and you will get to see lots of nice text textures to take pictures yeah and if you are somebody who is into a little bit uh, different experiences uh, something a little bit different than walking in uh, Fira or walking in Ia uh, Akrutiri could be also a very good option for you but one thing you should remember is to do it early in the morning or in the afternoon because this time it is a little bit challenging it's it's a bit hot yeah other than that amazing place now we will be uh, heading towards exploring uh, a few beaches in this area I'm excited about them I was actually here before but uh, that time I got the name of that beach over there wrong it's called caldera beach and uh, i will also leave uh, the exact uh, uh, link of this location in the description so you can easily click on it and find it it seems to me very beautiful and very pretty and uh, walking under this sand makes me thirsty and uh, even appreciate the beach more yeah i'm gonna insist once again hey people if you are coming to santorini and if you are into these uh, experiences like uh, hiking and sightseeing uh, and walking please do it early in the morning or in the afternoon i mean i can pretty much take a little bit of hits uh, but still even for me the sun is uh, hot the weather is hot and i'm feeling like a little bit weak because of the heat so yeah keep that in mind and uh, enjoy your vacation well it happens whenever you are uh, visiting a place for the first time uh, i was parked in a wrong area and i walked to the um, venetian uh, uh, site from a wrong direction but yeah uh, travel has its challenges but this is uh, i guess the best parking uh, that you can park and you can walk to the venetian uh, villa or let's say the venetian uh, building and because the walk will continue through the agrotiri village uh, with the shops and uh, coffee shops uh, which is in itself a very beautiful uh, thing to see so this is a uh, municipal parking it's completely for free i will leave an exact link to this location so you can easily find it and you can so you could park your car and then you walk to the uh, akrutiri through the akrutiri village to the venetian villa
And I think there are all there are also buses that can bring you from uh, Fera to Akrotiri and uh, can take you from Akrotiri to Fera. So even if you don't have uh, the ability to rent a car or to rent a bike or whatever, or you you feel like coming by bus, then that option is available as well. It's written local bus. There is a QR code that you can scan and you can get uh, you can get all receive all the information. And look at this area; it's pretty nice. It's very beautiful, and uh, and it's in it and it's really worth it. Yeah, e each part has its own unique experience to it. the taverna over here it's saying like greek nights there will be music at night and this is uh, the way to the venetian villa and then you can pretty much walk from here if you are lucky you can find uh, parking in this area otherwise you can uh, i already left uh, one or two uh, one or two or three links in the description so you can find uh, for yourself a parking place yeah and i think yeah it is it is nice just make sure that you visit this area early in the morning or in the afternoon when it's not too hot but if you are someone who just walks to the villa and then comes back uh, sits in a coffee shop drinks coffee or uh, before walking to the villa you drink your coffee and then you walk to the villa and come back and drink something else that that will also work that can also work yeah but believe me uh you need you need like uh, 
you need to be you need to stay hydrated and you need brakes yeah now we are going to be towards uh, the red beach and let's see and figure out how is that one